Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter for Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 32. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about how can we work with the Ajax request in Code Igniter for application. And also guys, if you are looking for the blog articles of KKPHV4, Code Igniter 4, MySQL and WordPress, then you must visit this blog website. If I back to browser, this is the website. What actually we are talking about? This is a blogging website and inside this, you can find all about the several interesting blog articles topic. Inside this, right now we have four categories called MySQL, WordPress, CodeIgniter 4 and KickPHP 4. So you can visit here and find much more useful contents. If I scroll down, we can see here that is how can we remove public and index.php from URL. Also we can see that CodeIgniter 4 form validation library, here we have REST APIs development and several interesting topics. So you need to visit this blog and read the blog articles content. Now let's get started about Ajax request implementation in CodeIgniter for application. Now if I back to slide, to implement Ajax request we have several different methods of jQuery. Either we can use the Ajax method we can use also post method and cat method. So we have several different different methods available to implement or initiate our Ajax request. It depends upon which method actually we are going to use inside our application. Now if I open a new tab, so simply to implement Ajax request, the first thing first we need a jQuery CDN link so that we can work with the jQuery syntax. So first of all, we need a jQuery CDN link. Next, according to the use, we are going to add a jQuery method. Either we can use, this is our Ajax method. Additionally, we have called get method and we have the post method any of the method we can use to initiate our Ajax request. So inside this video, we will discuss about this Ajax method. Inside this, we will pass some properties like URL, data, type and so on and we will see that how can we make a request to our server and get the response from the server. By the help of Ajax request, we can do any type of operation. Like if we want to do some insertion, some updating some data, deletion, as well as finding any type of data. So these all database operation also we can perform via Ajax request. Instead of database operation, in some cases, if we want to upload an image from client side to server side by means of using Ajax, so also we can use that. Now inside this video, we will see a simple Ajax request to send to the server and get response. Now if I back to editor, this is our site controller. So let's make a method here, public function, let's say Ajax method and inside this, we need to call a view file. Inside that view file, we will add the simple Ajax request code. So let's return view and we are going to create a file called Ajax method. Simply I am going to copy the file name, press Ctrl B, go inside this views folder. Keep in mind this file should be created at root. So click on views, new file, Ajax method.php. Now inside this file, we need to add some JavaScript code or let's say some jQuery code to make our Ajax request. So first of all, we are going to create a button. While clicking on that button, we will add our code at click event listener. 
So let's say here, button, click me and inside this button, let's say this button is simple, so input type equal to button, this button has a IT attribute, simply let's say btn click. Now if I go inside this routes.php to configure a route for this view file, what I will do? Go after this route and let's routes get and we are going to make our route something let's say hx-request we are going to use site controller because our method has been defined inside this and the method name we need to copy and it is something ajax method now if we save all these changes copy this route name back to browser and if I type here call index.php and keep in mind in the last video we have removed all about public from URL so also we can remove from it and one more thing also we have removed index.php so what I will do this is our route name if I press enter and as we can see that our button is here perfectly it's working now so right now when we click on this button nothing is going to happen what we want if we click on this button we will initiate a JAX request to a server and make a simple request handling method back to editor go inside this view file and as we had discussed that if we want to work with any jQuery code we need to include a jQuery CDN link or a local jQuery file so right now inside our application we don't have any local jQuery file so to use jQuery inside our application we need to use jQuery CDN link why we are going to add jQuery CDN link because we are going to work with this dollar symbol and dollar is nothing it's an initiative syntax part of jQuery so inside this syntax we will use our hx method so to use the, these features actually we need to use a jQuery CDN link so to get the CDN link simply back to browser go Google and type simply jQuery CDN link you can find several links available so I will click on this first link called code.jQuery.com and it will give us a link of jQuery CDN so when I click on this link we will be landed inside this page now here as we can see that different different types of versions available of jQuery simply I'm going to click on this jQuery 3.x and let's say minified file now it is going to give a link simply we can copy that copy this code back here and if I pasting it here it is already in a script code now I'm to remove these two attributes like integrity and cross origin now we have a jQuery CDN link now we are able to use this Ajax method simply what I will do first of all we are going to create our event listener means click event let's say document dot on this is our button it and we are going to bind with this click event listener we are going to define a function inside this function we will use our ajax code so cut this method using this method inside this now here we need to pass some parameters sorry properties so the first property we are going to use called URL this is the URL where we are going to request so inside this URL we are going to use our site URL helper function and one more thing 
before using this function you need to load URL helper so we have two different ways either we can actually load our URL helper to any of the specific controller or simply we can load inside base controller so inside this playlist we have used inside this base controller as we can see here if we want to load inside this controller simply we need to use a helper function inside this helper function simply making an array and inside this we need to load our respective helper now making this comment because we have uh, already loaded inside this base controller so go inside this view file closing this base controller now inside this site url let's say that we are going to create a method which is going to actually handle our ajax request this should be a post request type and the route is something let's say handle hyphen and let's say simply my ajax it is going to call site controller and right now I'm going to create this method inside this controller if you want to use a different controller for different method then you can put here so I'm going to copy this method name back to controller file and let's say public function handle ajax request and inside this let's say that we are going to pass some values from this request and those values we are going to read here so simply let's say data equal to this request and simply let's say get var as we know that by the help of this get var method we can read any type of input values from request and simply let's echo json encode making an array for our response let's say status equal to one message successful request and the data which is going to actually take all the data what we are passing from the request now our method is ready to handle our ajax back to view file site url copy this route name and putting it here the next property we have called type and inside this type this is all about our method type so we are going to hit this url by the help of post request type and this method should be defined while defining this route back here the next property we are going to attach with the data this indicates that while adding this request or requesting this url what are the parameters actually or what are the data we are passing into it so simply making an object and let's say that name let's say value we can add many more parameters here now go here next property we have called data type this is the data type it means in which format we are expecting our data so while defining json here it means we are going to take json format response now next here we have success property that is not a property actually it's a function here so let's say success this is going to contain a function and inside this function simply after handling our ajax request it returns the server response we have many more properties inside this ajax also we have a error method so inside this success simply let's say console.log and we are reading response from the server now we are ready to actually implement or go to browser and hit on this btn click id button now if i back to browser to test our request 
back to browser, go inside this and if I click on inspect to debug our Ajax request inside this network section. Now if we click on this button and I think that it is not working, why not actually it is working back to editor. This is our ID and on clicking on this button and we did a mistake. Actually the first value inside this on method is all about our event. In the second parameter of the value we need to pass the ID. Save all these changes, reload this page and if we click on this button now as we can see that this is the URL called handle-myajax we are requesting to the server. If we click on that, go to headers, this is the URL, math type, if we scroll down and here are the values which we are sending with this request. Go to preview and this is our response what we are getting from the server. We have status, message and the data object. Inside this, these are the values what we are sending from client side. So this is the simple Ajax request. In case if we want to do any database operation, we need to actually write the code here. Simply if we want to select all the data what we have inside our database, we need to load our model like raw queries or any type of method. Simply we need to load inside this handle Ajax request. We need to call and pass our data inside this. So simply guys inside this video step by step we had seen that how can we implement our Ajax request in CodeIgniter 4. By the help of this video if we want to if you are interested to do any database operation then you can go uh, one stage more from this video. Back to the blog articles inside this you can find Ajax request inside this article we have simply submitted a form data. Now if we click on this article link go here step by step each and everything explained here. Here we have installed our code writer for setup, database and table creation, database connectivity, routes definition. If you go here setting application model and here we have controller setting. Inside this controller setting this is all about our view file loading and this is ajax.php a separate controller to handle our ajax request and inside this simply we have loaded our model, store our requested data and insert it into our database table. If you go inside this view file, as we can see that we have used $.ajax method. We are sending form data inside this data object. So you must go with this article and see what we have done to save our data inside our database table. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.